This is a tutorial for simple but super powerful AI automation if you or your team works in marketing. Basically, if you have content in a video or audio form, so this could be TikTok videos, YouTube videos, internal videos that were produced before, client videos, testimonials, and whatnot, you can turn that audio or video content directly into your newsletters, blog posts, Twitter posts, LinkedIn posts, whatever format you want. So we take any audio or video content, repurpose it into any format you're looking for. Here are a couple of ways to think about it. Let's say you like creating content on TikTok. So you have all your content basically on TikTok, you know you're talking videos on tiktok you can automatically turn every single tiktok video into like a newsletter or a blog post or like a tweet or like a linkedin post on autopilot or maybe you get your best ideas when you're off for a walk so you just go out on a walk all your great ideas and insights just record it on a voice note add that file and boom you have like all your twitter posts linkedin posts all ready to go the automation is pretty much the same for like any input to output so we're going to do the tutorial so your creative juices can start flowing we're creating this automation in zapier so for trigger we're going to use google drive as our application and our event is going to be new file in a folder this could be dropbox as well if that's what you use but basically like are we going to trigger our automation every time we add a new file to the folder which is like a dedicated space for this automation we don't want this automation to trigger when like literally any file is added so we're going to create a separate folder call it content repurposing and then every time a new file which is audio or video is added to that folder it's going to trigger our automation so our first step is to transcribe our audio and video content so for that our next action is going to be open ai so we use open ai as your application and our event is going to be create transcription so if you're doing it for the first time you will need to connect your zapier account with your open ai api account with the api keys so you can access ai for this automation for our configuration we're going to just pick the file from the variables that we're just uploading as a file we can leave the language language empty if like it's going to be English per se but if you are using a different language for your content maybe it's best to mention it here so like yeah it kind of knows what language it's dealing with so we're just going to test a step here to make sure it's all connected properly it looks like we're good to go and our next step is now going to be like taking that transcript and then repurpose that content into something else again like I said before with TikTok videos or like you know any internal videos this could even be webinars maybe your team does a lot of webinars and you want to like you know cross post or repurpose that content into other formats this is the way to do it for our next step you can use chat gpt you can use cloud i'm using cloud here because i like it for the writing work for the setup we're going to pick the app as cloud our event is going to be send message so we're basically sending a message to cloud so we can get the results from the ai and then just have to connect your account with cloud again just like you would do for your open ai in the previous step under configuration your user message would be like the message you're sending ai to it could be like can you turn this video into a blog post in terms of the blog post content we will just take the variable from our second step which is a content we're getting from the transcription so you can keep it as simple as that or under system message this is where you can sort of like give Claude a lot more instructions maybe add some examples if there's a specific style you're looking for so this is kind of like when you build a gpt and you give it instructions or like you're building a cloud project and you're giving it instructions so this is your opportunity to like you know really tell ai how you want this repurposing to happen uh once you have those instructions and you use a message in we're just going to test it to make sure it's all working properly uh looks like everything's good and our next step could be adding it to google docs it doesn't need to be google docs it could be a slack message to the team it could be adding to your notion for anyone to take as a task after that it could be adding to your email marketing software so you can like run it as a newsletter campaign after that we're just going to use google docs as just an example i'm going to pick google docs as my app my event is going to be create document from text i could also have like a master doc and my event just could be like a pen to the document it's up to you whatever workflow works best for you so just authorize your google account just to make sure it can actually write content on your google docs on your behalf and then uh, under configuration uh, we're going to have to give a document name I like just using the title from the video itself, so it's just easier to figure out what's what but you can add something else if you want it. And for the document content, we're just gonna get our output from Claude and just gonna add it as a document content. That's pretty much it. So let's test it. Okay, so looks like the test has passed. So I'm just gonna go to my Google Docs and see if it's showing up. And we have it. We turned our little transcription from a TikTok video into a blog post tutorial. Okay, we do have some system messages and the formatting is like not perfect. So to fix the system message, what I like doing is I'll just go back to Claude and under my system message, I'll just be like, hey, please make sure that the output has no system message and just a tutorial and for formatting you can use something like formatter from zapier so this is where you can sort of format the document if you want things to be bold you want to add some headers and stuff like that for this step honestly i just say like go to chat gpt tell chat gpt like exactly what kind of things you're looking for for example i'm just looking for like you know the titles of different sections of the document as like you know big headers and chat gpt is going to give you like step-by-step -step instructions what to do in zap formatter by zapier formatter by zapier you know it could be a separate video do let me know if this is a video you're looking for if not just use chat gpt the free version you're good to go and uh, let's test it again 
Okay, and uh, yeah, here we have it. So we have our Google Doc with no system message up top and like we're getting some headers for our subsections within the document. There we have it. We were able to turn our audio or video file into our newsletter or blog post tutorial. Let's say you're trying to do this as volume. So I would say like, you know, work on this automation, like refine your prompt, do it with a few examples, make sure it's working the way you want it to. And now you can just keep pumping it out. Just keep uploading a video to a folder and then it's gonna keep churning out that content for you. Maybe you're doing webinars and then you can just add every webinar, every time a webinar is done, that could be separate automation where the webinar is automatically added to Google Drive and that's gonna trigger this automation where that webinar content being added to Google Drive automatically turns into your LinkedIn post, into your Instagram post, into your Twitter post, into your newsletter, whatever you want. I hope you feel inspired. I hope you learned something new. If this was useful, give us a thumbs up and follow the channel for more useful AI tools and automations. We'll see you in the next one.